So welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to look at the course CMA US. So let's start with the qualification name. The qualifications name is Certified Management Accountant of US. See the, the main focus of this course is management accounting and the country of origin is US. It's like accepted throughout the world uh, as a qualification and the main uh, jobs for which you can apply with this qualification are like budgeting roles, financial planning, business analyst kind of jobs. So the entry qualification for so the entry qualification for this course is a completion of any three years degree. So only after completing a three year degree, okay, any three year degree you can enter here. So any three year degree means it can be a BCom, BBA or BA. BSc like that. Okay, that's why they have mentioned it as any. So let's look at the exam pattern here. So the exam patterns are there are only like two levels of exams that is level one is an exam level two is an exam. So just two exams are there within that exam. Okay, level one exam, you will be like having six different subjects and in level two, you will also have another six subjects. Totally, totally put together, they come to 12 subjects. Okay, so don't uh, get uh, uh, confused by how can you read like 12 subjects or six subjects in a level and write it. Um, they, are, they are like short, short subjects. They are not like very lengthy subjects. They are very short, short subjects. So you, they are like six short subjects which are put into a level. So you don't need to get too much worried about six subjects here. Okay, so that's about the level one and level two. The exam windows, that is, you can take up these exams uh, between January and February. That's like from January to February, you can write this any of this exam. Level 1 or level 2, you can take it in January or February or May or June or September, October. So, three times in a year, the window is open and you can attempt uh, the exam at any of this level. So, the minimum years to complete this exam would typically take between six months to one year. So six months, I think it's like a, a very short time. Okay. I think you can complete this exam in, in a one year time. That would be like more, more than enough. If you're studying full time for this exam, it will take one year comfortably. You can finish it, but you won't get the certificate because you will get the certificate only when you have two years of work experience here. So that is a, a problem here. So the pass percentage would be for level one, it's 35% and level two, it's 50 percentage. And they recommend that you have to start from level one and go to level two. So it means you are starting at the tougher stage. And if you are could clear level one, it means you can easily clear level two. So how much would be the total fee? The total fee is like quite differently structured. Okay. So if you are a professional, the fees would be put together would be 97,000. And if you are a student, uh, you should show the proof that you are a student, uh, that you are a BCom student or NCOM MCOM student. You should be a currently a student in a college or a university. If in that is the case, okay, uh, I think UG students couldn't do it. So if you are a PG student, you can uh, avail this discount and your exam total fees would be 74,000. This 97,000 or 74,000 does not include the books as well as the uh, classes, the coaching classes. Okay. So books, you have to buy it separately. So that alone will come to 30,000 rupees. Okay. So the book company is Hawk. There are like several book companies. I have taken Hawk as a basis uh, that comes to 30,000 rupees. And the assumption is like uh, $1 refers to 75 rupees here. So put together, it would be costing you with the books somewhere between uh, 1 lakh to uh, 1 lakh 30,000. Okay, so whether you are a student or a professional. So even after clearing this exam, you will be required to pay every year a membership fee. So you have to pay it, then only your certificate is valid. So uh, that would be 22,000 every year you have to pay. You should definitely have two years of work experience. Okay either before the course or during the course or after the course. But only if you complete this two years of experience, you will be getting the certificate. So that's about the course details here. Okay. If you have any other queries, you can post it in the comment section. We'll be happy to answer you.